everybody and welcome back to game 10. How awesome, but let's first give a special shout out and thanks to all our subscribers uh, for following us and all your comments. Thanks guys, couldn't grow the channel without you. Please remember to tell your friends, uh, hit your like buttons, your share buttons, your uh, notification bells. You don't want to miss any videos, we've got so many things coming out. Um, to our Udemy uh, students out there, um, all over the world, thank you very much for your support and there's more courses coming your way soon, so hope you look forward to that and don't forget to follow us on Instagram um, and TikTok. So yeah, let's, let's get into it. Firstly, let me just say this to Oman, the country Oman. Um, what an awesome stadium, what an awesome setup, you know, to management owners, people who set up the whole thing, the whole um, infrastructure there, your facilities are awesome. Uh, thank you very much and congratulations. And, and it would have been so nice for the team to have gone further, but courage is that your team is really, really good. We were really uh, thrilled and really enjoyed watching them. They played great cricket, lots of scope to grow. And that's the nice thing, you've got into it now, you understand what you're looking at, and you've got to play the big dogs to understand where you need to step up to. And I, and I think you do know that. So, you know, it was exciting, it was great to watch. Awesome, thank you very much. So. What we're going to obviously do is not go hop too much on it. Amon went down, but they went down fighting. We have an old saying, step onto the field, leave it all on the field. Give it your best, step off the field. You want to lose, you know you gave it your all. And that's what a true champion does. Because tomorrow you'll stand up Amon and you'll work harder for the next one. And you'll be a greater team. Uh, and so we are really encouraged by that. So thanks very much for that. So Amon tried their best. But I think on the day, Scotland was just firing. Scotland's been getting better every day. Every time they play, they've been working hard. And mine has been the same. But I just think on the day, there was just too much in the Scotland team to, to uh, play that Amman had to take on. But they never gave up. I think the key thing that sort of changed the batting dynamics of the Amman team for me was that first over run out of Jatinda. Uh, you know, I think that hurt you because there's 50 plus runs uh, average that that man can make, or 40 plus. If you take that into consideration and you say to yourself that you took that out of the uh, scoring equation, it could have been a different game. Um, he might have had a day where he made 100, we don't know. So that was tragic. I think some work needs to be done there. Um, and he admitted himself he's been out, run out, or involved in those scenarios about seven odd times. So yeah, a little bit of work, a little bit of uh, understanding, I think. What after that, then what happened was the communication wasn't so good, but the nerves, guys are sort of running, not running, they weren't rotating, they weren't taking the opportunities. Um, Ilias tried to make a good stand, I mean, he made 37 or 30 odd balls, um, so he, a bit of a stand there. Uh, Nadim 25 before he was caught, and the Kapi Zishan had a good knock, he tried as well at 34 of 29. So, you know, little pockets of resistance there, which was nice to see. I think you just needed people like Suraj, Fayaz, Bilal, or people like that just to stand up and help him and maybe put on 10 runs. If you take the rest of the team, if they all made about 10 or 15 runs, uh, it would have been a different game. So, you know, just room and places to work on that I think are important going forward. Um, you know, obviously it affected them. Their run rate was, you know, by the fourth over, it was only 5.28. And, and let's be honest, if you're going against teams like South Africa, New Zealand, Australia, Indian, uh, India, uh, West Indies and places like that, you've got to get that 8, 9 over plus to have an outside chance of trying to beat them. So they're there, but they still need to just get that next level up. And, and that's just going to take some, some growth from a... Uh, internal perspective, developing your youth programs, things like that, just to help them, uh, the youth sort of come through and start getting more depth and more strength as a nation going forward. So I think, you know, I don't know what your scenarios are there, but hopefully that is there. So, you know, in the power play, there were 37 for two, that's going to hurt any side, um, with an average run rate of 6.17 at the time, which is a little low, but, you know, the guys are trying, you know. So, Unfortunately, it sort of dropped up and down, so it sort of went to 5.7, 5.16. So it was sort of like this, but too low, not high enough. And it wasn't from a lack of trying. I just think that uh, the better team won. So communication as well, there needs to be some development on communication skills. Um, just weren't quite there. 
but you know they they tried you know they, they tried so what I'm never going to do is knock a team when they're down you don't knock players when they're down back them I support them help them grow help them sort of just get their confidence and just keep working hard there's some great talent in there the man fielding uh, and it's, it's always a nice to watch you know um, the guys tried really hard so if we have a look at that and then we we discuss uh, you know the other thing as well so just just digressing again what Scotland did well and and to put Amon out of the, the contention if Scotland obviously went back in the week before they the, the, during the, the next day or two off before they played Amon on Friday which was a biggie was Scotland realized that Amon likes to free the arms so what they did was then the bowlers obviously went and worked hard strategy was tie them up keep the arms short attack the wickets you know moving your using your variation your slow balls your cutters your uh, things like that to mixing up your pace and swingers in swingers way swingers yorkers those kind of variations but keep it tight so that you force the amount guys to take higher risk because they can't get the ball away the arms are tied up so great strategy from scotland in terms of tying up the amount uh, batsman I think that was very very good um, if you have a look at it um, and also again I think Scotland's fielding was just that next level up again they made any singles that came out almost impossible to run uh, you force the errors so great attacking strategy in the field good field placing um, and, and very tight lines they they just really shut them on guys down um, it, it just is what it is um, they just were very strategically clever um, so you know the Oman bowlers by the time they wanted to bowl uh, they had a big target of chase they weren't as cohesive they weren't as aggressive in terms of attacking those lines um, they did for spells so again a little bit of consistency needed there um, then every now and again too many loose balls they get punished and the scoreboard ticked along nicely in Scotland's favour so you know just moving over so Oman well done uh, it was a pleasure and an honour to watch the game so um, let's move on to what Scotland did. So when you look at the people like Brad Wheel, Davy, uh, Sharif, uh, the quickies that came on, um, you know, straightaway Davy three, he's got three for twenty-five. He was a problem. Uh, Brad Wheel, Sharif, these guys Sharif were wicked as well. Really pulled nice lines, nice channels. They really attacked hard. Uh, I'm a great believer in don't leave the stumps unless it's uh, you know you want to purposely bowl close to that wide line. Um, I always like to try and coach players, especially your quickies and seamers, attack the stumps, be ruthless, make the batsmen make the mistake, attack them, the Yorkers, attack the stump, don't leave the stump. I know a lot of coaches say, bowl six stump. I, I'm, you know, there's a time and place for it, and I think if you just put a batsman under pressure and test him all the time, there will become, he'll get himself out. So, again, that's just my opinion. So, when you look at Mark Watt, Chris Greaves, and, and, and Lise who came in on the spin side, uh, again, I mean, look at Mark. What Mark? What was really good? Um, great variation, variation his pace. He uses the creasy balls back behind the umpire, 23 yard, 21 yard side, um, center, close to stump. Um, quicker ball, slower balls, variation, very, very good. Uh, Chris Greaves just puts him in there, lollies and all the rest of it, and tempts you. You think you're going to have a go at him? A little deceptive in that. Good thinking gives a little flight, gives teases you a little bit. You might get the odd one away, but in the bigger picture, you won't. So, Lee scores good, you know, uh, two wickets, again, good bowling. So, you know, really that was the difference and uh, the fielding and things like that were a little bit different. If you have a look when the uh, Scots had it coming to bowl, uh, it's bat straight away. So, you're looking at Munzee, Tweedy, Kutzer, who struggled, I think, a little bit throughout the tournament and previous games, getting just trying to find some batting form, came good. And then he's maybe peaking at the right time, going into the Super 12 side of things. Uh, a lovely 41, Mumsy 24, Cross 24, and Berrington 20. So you're having a look at guys that have sort of, sort of understanding now, um, they're finding rhythm, they're finding form, they're not so rusty anymore, and, and they're starting to get in there and, and, and make a, a name for themselves. Um, you know, going forward, my advice to Scots, uh, the, the Scottish team is that you still need to uh, pick up your run rate, especially when you're going to come against the bigger guys, um, because they're going to drive run rate hard. And um, you've got a good bowling attack. Use it to your strength. Use your fielding to your strength. And, uh, you know, let's just hope 
that you can get through. But, you know, well done to Scotland. You've got there. You've worked hard to be there as an affiliate. Uh, and you're into the big leagues here with the guys. And we're hoping for good things for you. Uh, and we obviously are wishing you best of luck. Uh, and to all the Scottish supporters, management, coaches, um, and the players themselves, um, let's give it horns. You know, only one way you're going to learn, like a man or any team, uh, if you don't go and play with the best and take a beating or try and get close, you're never going to understand at the next level where you need to be. Uh, and, and these are big professional sides with large uh, um, sort of teams behind them to diagnose and put together all these players. So, you know, you're going to go and punch with the big boys. Just use your head, think sharp, play to your strengths. Uh, and don't let the moment be too big for you. So, you know, really to everybody, thank you very much. Um, the video came out a little later than we expected, had a little technical difficulty, but we're back on track. So we're looking forward to more games that are coming up uh, and we will keep you posted in terms of what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, it's going to take place and everything you need to know is going to take place here. And don't forget, from now on, watch. We might slip in some useful tips at the end of our videos for you as bowlers, batters, and fielders, and strategies and things like that just for you to learn from. And uh, thank you very much. And Coach Jordan couldn't be here, but he sends his regards. He'll be back with us today um, during the other videos coming up. So awesome. Thanks for your support. Don't forget, tell everybody, share, like. We need your help. We need to grow as a channel. And we want to be able to supply you more and more cricket. Don't forget, we've got a whole bunch of banning videos and all sorts of things coming out soon. Keep an eye on this space. Everybody, thanks for your support, and it's bye for now.